got an issue with people pretending they like what they don't Please don't bring up my issues unless you gon' deal with your own Please don't try to pretend like you keep it real though Yeah, it's funny that you got a lot of money, but that money doesn't buy you skills though I don't care if I am on the billboards, on the killing spree, I'm about to kill more Got a chain on, you pay the mail for I mean, what you Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Vail back with another Mobile Legends build video. This time around, we're going to be building Nana. One of you all asked me in the comments of another video to do her, and I make this content for you all, so I went ahead and did some research. But first, I'd like to ask you all to please leave a like on this video if you find it helpful because it really helps out the channel, and I like to think that that helps out the community. But starting off, let's take a look at Nana's fighting ability. Her ability's effects are 80, her offense is 60. Durability 50, Jungle 45, Poke 88, and Difficulty 40. So just by looking at these stats, we get a lot of information. She doesn't come built for offense, so she's not ADC. She's not durable, so she's not a tank. And she's not built for the jungle. That being said, by a process of elimination, she was designed to be support. The effects of her abilities are 80 and her poke is 88. Not only is she strong in those areas, but she's one of the strongest. So since she's strongest with her abilities, we want to make sure we allow her to use her abilities as much as possible and we want them to be as strong as possible. Her poke is a very huge part of her kit and we want to take advantage of that. She's meant to be very annoying. The best part about her is she can pretty much throw her boomerang all game long and never run out of mana with the right build. She can poke all game long with no consequence if she's played correctly. So when creating this build, I wanted to make sure I could do damage with my abilities and I wanted to make sure I could never run out of mana. But something unique I also did is I focused on being able to perform physical attacks and get life steal. But let's get into the build. For our first skill, we have Eternal Scepter, which gives us 60 magic power, 615 health points, and 600 mana. As always, I won't get into the passives, but based on the primary things we get, you can already see that this skill is meant to make her abilities more powerful and allow her to perform them more. We also get the health, which improves our survivability. Moving on, her next skill is Fleeting Time, which gives us 70 magic power, 15 mana regen, and 20% cooldown reduction. Of course, the cooldown reduction allows us to use our abilities more frequently, which makes her even more annoying when it comes to poking. The mana power makes her abilities even stronger and the mana regeneration lets us recover a little mana faster so it takes longer for us to run out. Moving on we have Fallen Sword which gives us 45 physical attack, 30% attack speed, and 10% lifesteal. Now if you've seen my videos before you know how in love I am with Tooth of Greed but we need something different for this hero and let me explain why. Tooth of Greed only gave me the attack and lifesteal but the speed of the attacks and lifesteal are just as important. With Tooth of Greed, Nana's lifesteal wouldn't have been as viable. Fallen Sword's attack speed really does a lot for Nana and I personally feel like it's what brings this entire build together. Next we have Concentrated Energy which gives us 70 magic power and 700 health points. This magic power is an even bigger boost to our damage we can output from our pokes and the health we get is even more survivability. But moving on we have the Astral Wand which gives us 65 magic power and this again allows us to deal even more damage while we poke and provide support for our team. Last but not least we have Guardian Relic which gives us plus 90 magic power. Now this one again goes towards damage but these also have unique abilities that do even more which you have to test out for yourself. This build works extremely well if you play passive and support your team. The ideal way to play this build is to focus on farming and when someone gets too close to you or your team, hit them with the boomerang to keep them at bay. In tough situations, she also has a morph spell that turns an enemy into a dragon cat which leaves them pretty much defenseless. Basically her kit allows her to keep people back and that's her strongest skill. In order to get the most out of this build, don't try to be a tank, don't try to go for kills, poke enemies and keep them away from your team. Nana is the type of hero who should have a bunch of assists at the end of the game and only a few kills. Be sure to comment your feedback down below, I love hearing from you all. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like because it helps the channel grow and it helps more people get a little value from this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and join the notification squad. And if you'd like to know what I'm up to throughout the day and when I'm streaming or just to talk to me, be sure to follow me on social media. The links are in the description as always. Thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.